All right, got a call out on Sunday. It is brutal hot. Okay. Like I said, I haven't pulled the disconnect. Contactor is not pulled in. Boy, it's hard to see because of the amount of light. Nothing. Ooh, compressor is really hot. Of course, everything is just really hot right now. I'm going to push the contactor in and see it. No fan motor. Okay. to the side. Oh boy. Okay. So, yeah, I'll be, I got, I saved another lid from another unit. So I'll be grabbing that. Okay. So let's pull that. Let's discharge our cap. We'll check all our capacitors while we're here. And I'm going to need to just, haha, <laughs> here that. Just in time too, otherwise I wouldn't have, I had a unit, I replaced the unit the other day and um, I wouldn't have a new lid if I had replaced that unit right then, so um, here we go, capacitor test, Let's see what our fan is, should be 5, Four point eight three. it's good, and then a 35, It's good. It's just very slightly weak. 33.75 would be good. I actually have a new capacitor. I will change that. That's about a good thing. So I'll make that a little bit better. Is 1.25% off with me. Which is good. Which is barely weak. Probably most PC guys would not go ahead and change it. But it's 
blade here. Yeah, came right apart. <laughs> Could maybe drill another hole, put it through here, and you know, tape it up if I had to temporarily. Um, if I if I didn't have one, but I have one, so Fix that up, I go get it, and we'll get it going. All right, then deal. All right. sure the fan baffle is all good. Looks good. Alright. And I asked him to turn it on inside, but I'm not sure he understood. Breathe again and yeah, drink of water. All right, Whew. it's hot. all the way through so I guess that won't matter. But usually there's a circular deal that goes through around here to protect the wires but this one it popped the conduit popped all the way through. And I jump on wiring Blue to the white wire. Get our wire nuts on those. There we go. And we need to check our voltage to see. Yeah, I 
Okay, yeah. Okay, go around and Text it, see if you can turn it on. Wait. Oh, yeah, she's hot. <laughs> okay. Okay, in the meantime, I'll get all those screws set in. I showed you guys my trick. Same time. Okay, you just turned it on. Okay. Okay, and uh, once I get this moved around, and plug in the disconnect. It's all in, all the way around. And plug in the disconnect. Here we go. Well, I'm going to give the fan legs a little push with my pen. Oh, I lost my pen. <laughs> oh well, I have another pen. <laughs> Sorry, that pen's goner. <laughs> Won't be the first. Sorry, not the last. <laughs> Fan water. That don't work. I'll just cut the wires off so no one nothing falls down in there. Alright, here we go. Okay. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. 
Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food. Um, and it's going to be a difficult situation, but uh, you, can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, he took all of our sin on himself at the cross. So put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.